Hello there Sagittarius. How are you? Welcome into Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. I have a message for you, Sagittarius. For some of you that are caught up in a love triangle between you, your current person, and a person of your past, whether this person is presently active still in your life or not, their energy lingers, and here is why. <clears throat> the person, I feel like you are attracted to this person's energy because you still hold them as a meaningful part of your experience. They were your first love, indeed. With this person, I feel it was the first time you, during intercourse, felt someone's body, felt a connection, you felt love. For some of you who are males, the energy of this person nurtured you. They took care of you. They gave you things that you didn't realize you were missing as a child. Growing up, dinner prepared, placed on a table for you. Dinner, waiting at home. Not that you didn't have that experience as a child, but I feel like it meant a lot for someone to care for you, to look after you, to love you, to make love to you. And to you, I feel... You maybe you you this is this is the experience in which you wanted to your paternal instincts started to kick in and this is why you're so tied to this relationship. Now let me free you. You are failing to realize that you are the one that attracted this person to you. It is something in you that pulled this person's caring nature that made this person want to cater to you. It is who you are and you are deserving of it. This person loved you. They loved you too. So I feel like males, this female, this woman really cared about you. Her her reproductive she, you guys experienced a lot together when it comes to her femininity. You know, she, 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 you saw her in many of her times. You were there. She loved you. I don't know why the relationship ended, but it did. I feel you both were young. This was young love. So the power in freeing you comes when you realize that you attracted this love from this person. So the person you are currently with, you are, you are sometimes in an energy of comparing her to that past love. Because it was your first love. Even though this person you are currently with still does everything for you and more. Because you are manifesting this love for you as that past person, this person still cares for you, your new person. They love you. They take care of you. They tend to your needs. But it's as if you are seeing, it is as if you don't see that because you're still caught up in your past person's energy. How they were the true love of your life. When you are, you have manifested this all over again with your new person. A person that loves you, just wants to tend to you. And it is because of who you are, what you bring to the table, what you bring out of these women, out of these people that make them want to cater onto you, to love you. It is you. It is you. It is you that they love. So that is your power. It is okay to give more of yourself. It is okay to give more of yourself. Your emotions, your, your gratitude, your love. 
it is okay to break walls and barriers and to be happy with to be content with the life that you have manifested you have created you have attracted you have built you have put together the life that you have pulled together the people you have pulled into you all of them you know so learn to be present and to see love and beauty now and to because the girl first love's energy was an awakening was to awaken the energy of being familiar with love and affection and it could be because you are one that is meant to oh my gosh I, I feel like I lost it I'm getting the energy of a tree an old man an old person you're meant to grow old as a tree I hear heritage you're meant to I feel maybe have a unit a family unit a strong bond you know I feel like something like that maybe that makes sense to you Something about fatherhood as well and being the head of your family. Just because of who you are. I feel the energy of you are one that... Um, if we're talking about villages and African villages... You, I see you as an elder, just old with, and I, I, you, you are living in the hut. You are the elder of the village and um, you grow very old and you have many, possibly many children, many wives, you know. Um, but I feel you're, you're an old, you grow very old and you're an elder with that energy, that fatherly spirit. I don't know if you're embracing your spirituality, but I'm getting that you're a very spiritual person. You have a very strong ancestral presence, a very old fatherly figure that is the elder of a village. And I feel like that's somewhere you could be coming from or something you could look into to learn more about yourself, learn more about your ancestors. Because the spirit of homeliness is within you. It feels like you, you are one that creates a village and places people, like allow people to live within, to create a community, a home, a family, a bond, a unit. And maybe that's why women are attracted to this kind of strength in you. But something you bring and it's it's um it's maturity, it's devotion. Hmm. Okay, Sagittarius, leaving the messages here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I do hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did, leave a compliment on this video behind. Let me know you enjoyed this video and you want to see more messages like this. Leave a thumbs up behind. Thank you so much. Share the videos with those you love. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload new content for you. All of your support is truly appreciated. For personal readings or any inquiries, check out the description box below this video. I'll see you in the next one, Sagittarius. Remember that all is within you.